Welcome back to Groovy for Beginners. This video will see automatic operators and its most powerful features. Let's get started by creating a new Groovy script for this demonstration. Okay. So we are all familiar with basic arithmetic operators like plus, minus, multiplication, division and so on. Let me quickly go over them because I don't need to give more and more explanation on them because we, we all know them very well since our school days. So addition, subtraction, right, multiplication and uh, this one is uh, the reminder operator, I'll keep 10 and the other one is division operator. You can notice their output 3. 1 minus 2 minus 1, 2, 10. The remainder after dividing 10 by 2 is 0, and the quotient when I divide 10 by 2 is 5. So these are all uh, pretty straightforward uh, uh, features. Uh, let me do this. So let me focus a little bit on uh, uh, these two operators. For example, I want to know. A given number is uh, even or odd, for example. So I want to know uh, this one is even or odd. So what we usually do is we divide, I mean, we use modulus operator on that variable. Okay, if this is written in zero, it is uh, even number otherwise it's odd number something like this if zero so we'll see more about uh, if conditions uh, conditional statements in other videos but just to demonstrate this specific operator I'm using if conditions here Okay, yes, see that uh, the number 10 is divided by 2 and the reminder, this returns reminder, reminder is 0, so obviously it's even, if I make this 11 right, reminder won't be 0 and its value will be odd. And the other operator, data divided by let's say 2 it returns the quotient the number of times uh, data is divided by length sorry the number of times data is divided by 2 it's obviously 5.5 times yeah, this is pretty simple straightforward in any programming language but what I want to mainly focus on is the little advanced uh, functionalities groovy programming process. Let's say I want to uh, add two numbers, it should work and give us result 20. Let's say I want to add a number and a string. In usual cases, right, in usual situation scenarios this should cause an exception saying we can't add integer with string but in groovy because of its dynamic nature this number is internally converted into string and gets concatenated with the other string let me see that that's the beauty here in other languages right usually this piece of code throws exception but in groovy because of its dynamic programming nature 
Groovy is internally converting this integer into string and it's like string plus string and that's the output we're getting there. This behavior is quite interesting and the next one I want to demonstrate is let's say I want to print Java home 10 times I could directly multiply the text with 10. This is quite interesting and powerful. So let me execute the code. You, you should notice Java home printed 10 times. And let's say I want to add Java home is our string. To this string, I want to concatenate cloud. I can add string plus string which gets concatenated and gives it as a single string Java home cloud fine and also you see more operations related to string in later videos in this video right my focus is how to demonstrate how arithmetic operators can be used okay now let's say I have a string Java home cloud in this I want to kind of remove cloud I could use minus and cloud see that we are, we are able to subtract one string from other string so actually uh, from this main string I am saying remove cloud you can't see this kind of behavior in many programming languages available in the market today and this is something special to Groovy and I, I'm not sure if Python supports similar functionality. Let's say B, C, D, E, F for example, I want to delete C, D. See, I want to remove C, D from this text and let's see what happens there. Of course, I got that. AB followed by EF by removing CD from this text. Let's say we have CD repeated multiple times, right? So I, I, I'm saying remove CD from this text, but this text has CD, uh, I mean, uh, appearing multiple places. In such cases, Groovy will take care of removing CD. Oh, I mean only the, the first occurrence it won't remove the second and third occurrences it's going to remove only the first occurrence of that CD this is gone but you could still notice the CD which is coming second and third so if you have a scenario where you want to remove occurrences of CD throughout the string and we can use the built-in string functions for that and uh, lastly, Groovy has power operator. Let's say I want to know 2 to the power of 3. So here, 2 stars indicates power operator. Yeah, 2 to the power of 3 is 8. Let's say I want to know 2 to the power of 10. It's 1024. So that's all about uh, arithmetic operators in Groovy uh, related to primitive data types like in float and so on. Even we have seen a few operations on integer string combination and string string combination and so on.